Hey guys, how's it going? Well, here's the 73 Plymouth. And uh, this car's been sitting around about the entire time that I've owned it, since about the middle part of 2013. And really want to get this car on the road and going. And so it's, uh, it's pretty good mechanical condition. Doesn't have that many miles on it. But one thing I want, decided that I want to do is I want to kind of spruce up the outside of it. And so we're going to do a little multi-part project on this. We're just going to do some cheap body work on this car just to kind of make it look a little better. And what's going on is this car came from Pennsylvania. So it's a northern car. And I'll tell you right now that it's, it's pretty much Bondo from about there down. Right up there. So... And I knew that when I bought it, you know, I didn't have I didn't have very high expectations for it. So I'm gonna just kind of show you around this car, and you guys from up there up north, you'll you'll immediately recognize the trouble spots that we're dealing with. Number one, this fender is uh, in pretty bad shape. As a matter of fact, both of them are. But this is probably the original fender, and it's got Bondo in it that's raising up, and it's got a rust hole, another rust hole rust hole there so the front part of the fender is in pretty bad shape as is the rear of it it's got i took my grinder here and uh, did a little bit of test on it and you see i had a couple bubbles there you can see when you see bubbles and stuff you know there's a rust under it and so i already anticipated that and i'm not gonna grind all the bondo out of it i'm just gonna do so i can go back and kind of smooth it over as you can see that character line right there you can see it's you got some problems so I've actually got a couple fenders for this car if I wanted to put them on but I just don't think that you know I don't think I'm gonna do that with this car because it's a it's a cheap car and it's just you know cars like this are fun to own and fun to have and fun to drive but they're basically worthless you know nobody Despite what people like to say, they don't own them and don't in a position to buy them. You know, they're not easily sellable and they're not worth anything because it's just a base slant six car. So we're, we're not going to go there with it. We're just going to kind of spruce it up cheaply. So it's got, it's got some Bondo here and there. It's crunchy. That hole, well, you can see there's a hole right there got to be fixed. The structure of the car underneath is actually not that bad, you know, the safety aspect of it. It's still, it's still all right. It's not got anything critical there, but this whole, this whole, both sides, this quarter panel has been replaced. And right here, it's, you see when I push my finger on that, I don't know, I don't know if that's a remainder of metal or what. But what tipped me off to that was this Back here at the back, you see how that kind of sticks down right there? That part right there, that's not supposed to do that. That's supposed to match that character line of that bumper, and it doesn't. And the fender well over here is not quite as bad. It's got a little issue here, and this quarter's kind of hanging in there pretty good, so I'm not gonna, gonna see what's going on there. Got another little hole over here. And this quarter panel is quickly coming apart right here, this rocker. So I guess we'll examine that. And then up here again, this fender generally overall is in better shape than the other one was. But it's got a really big bad place right here bubbling up. And this fender is often an older Valiant. I guess maybe the lady had this car had a little fender better, but the Valiant's in the wrong place on it. And the fact is, I don't even think they use that emblem on this. This is off of probably about a 67 through a 69. You know, so that's the extent of it. It's actually got some other stuff that needs to be repaired also. Up in here, it's got some spots where the salt kicked up 
so it's not terrible but like I said it's got a lot of bondo in it so we're not gonna do anything extravagant you know so we just want to make it look better we're gonna smooth out what's there and then we'll put some filler in smooth it out and get it looking a little bit better and get some probably get a, some paint put in a spray bomb and do that with the paint on it and that'll be the extent of it I thought what we would do today is we would get our grinder and get our goggles and appropriate safety gear and start digging into this rust and see exactly how bad it is so this fender may not even be salvageable when you get into it. I might have to put another fender on it. I hope I don't, but uh, we're going to get into that. And you know the thing, we, the thing about rust is it's not what you see, it's what you don't see. So that's, that's definitely that. So I got Mr. Pod going here, so put you up on him and we'll get going on this and you can follow along. So. Stay tuned.